Hey guys, I'm Slick77 the Desert Creeper, and welcome to Infinite Heights Season 3. Hey guys, I'm Slick77. Welcome back to more Infinite Heights. I have a good cup of coffee with me today. Hmm. I found out I like coffee without sugar, which is very surprising. I've, ta I've drank sh sugar with my coffee my entire life. Decided to try something different. And I figured out another great thing is that... I don't like the blank space. I figured out why the music is not coming through. I have a... Um, a sound up and down thing for my headset which is completely different from the rest of my computer so when I turn that up I turn my sounds down it screwed with everything else so I turn this down turn my sounds up and now everything's fixed so yeah so let me get some music this time this time you will hear it, it is from rusted media my favorites my playlist from rusted media and it is by verm it's called explode Big news, guys. Big news. Aside from the music, I am done in the storage room. Let me show you why. I feel like this is a good song for the ending of a project. So, my lights are on moody, as you can tell. Well, maybe not. Uh, with Fraps, before I upload to YouTube, I can tell the difference between the lights going on up and down, but not when it's on YouTube. So, first of all, you re remembered how all of this was gray? Well, I installed more gray, different shade, different texture. I think it shows off the um, the shape, octagon shape with the lava more. And I feel like it shows off a little bit more of shape with the half circle here. So I think it's pretty cool. Not a, not a very big deal, but I just felt like it was needed one day. But the big one that you guys have seen last episode is this. I did not like the torches whatsoever when I finally saw it on my own recording on YouTube just to make sure all the sounds are going through. And I was like, whoa, I gotta change this. This looks like crap. I didn't realize you guys were looking at this for so long. So I went through a different, different couple styles of green. I had to complete, this is all the light green stained clay. So I had to completely change it out and make light stained, light green stained glass kept the pattern and I'm enjoying it so much so much more no ugly torches about after all torches would be out of place in this era would it not era area and so look how much uh, light green clay I have now so many stacks so this is going good very good I wouldn't say all chests are filled but you know it's coming along it's coming along um, I still have some chests, you know, sort out, I just realized. Throw away some stuff. And I have a bed. Don't really know why that's there. Where do I put a bed, anyway? Let's figure that out real quick before I show you the rest. Mm. Do I have, I have a miscellaneous chest, don't I? It's over here in the valuables. Uh, do, do. Well, you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> Let's just bury the bed. No one ever needs to know that was there. Okay, so here's the big ones, guys. Oh, that's still there. Finished this room. The water tanks are finally complete. You can see how I stylized the floor, made it, making it look really good. Finally figured out, this is the biggest problem I had, was figuring out how to do the ceiling. Or going around the walls. I decided to throw in some, like, you know, already know this, some green mossy cobble. And I was having a hard time trying to make it blend together and I decided just more cobble. And you know what? If I would have added chisel stone brick like originally planned, and I did for a little bit, but then it made it look too 
ruinous like this jungle temples too much so I took it away and without it being there it doesn't look too Aztec -y, too temple ish so I'm really liking it and the ceiling here is just a flat gray no designs in it whatsoever I did not want designs on the ceiling <clears throat> whoa the only design I have in the ceiling here is to connect the cobble tops together and what they are is just stairs one right side up, two, three upside, four upside down stairs, excuse me, with slabs connecting in between. And this one here is the exact same style, aside from this one's the slab and seven of the stair, and the cobble goes straight to the ceiling, touching a half slab. Otherwise, the lights have stayed. I think it's still dark enough for things to spawn if you're around long enough. And as you can tell, I have changed the glass. The floor is white stained glass. The walls are a dark, the regular gray stained glass. And whenever you see, whenever you see glass on the ceiling, it is the light gray stained version. So here is this area. Oh, and the water tanks have been completed as well. You can see the prismarine in the water tanks a little bit. You can see the lanterns, you can see the leaves. It all works out very well. You can't see the clay, which I'm actually kind of disappointed about. But oh well. <clears throat> One of those tanks, however, is completely different from the rest. I wonder when we will run into that one. Same deal here. Must have been a creeper I didn't see. This room, however, is different from the other ones because I have, as you can tell, a ravine. And you can't really see it that well, but you know, there's glass up here. I need to put a torch up there. I forgot to do that. So let us do that right now. Let's go grab torch. Where's my coal? Coal should be over here. Yes, it is. Doom, doom. Oh my goodness. The chests have a glitch at the moment. Or let's say if you do, if you try to click and drag, for some reason it just restacks itself. You try to drop one, put it back. It doesn't work. All the time. Yep. Oh well. Oh, yep. See? It's like, I don't know what's going on. And sometimes it'll throw up the entire stack of whatever, if you do it really quick. And I'm eating mushroom stew now because I have a lot of mushrooms for a reason that you'll see next time. But in here, let us break. I don't think it'll screw up that too much. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And you can see how deep the cave is by that light all the way down there. It is a very deep cave. Not wanting to put too much lights in it. Don't want to, you know, make it too bright down there. And I know it's hard to see through the floor, but the white stained glass makes it blend in with the quartz and the slabs the <clears throat> dark gray blends in with the darkness of the hallways the creepiness of the caverns and the light gray stained glass matches because there's no quartz in the ceiling it perfectly matches the slabs and I just in some spots I had to choose whether to put it on this layer for the glass or the uh, top layer but to make it match, I put uh, it above, so put that cobble there. And I'll play, there's any more glass areas? No. This is not the different one. Oh, and I like the those lanterns 
The shadowy right and areas are very cool. I really like those the moment I saw them. So I kept those there. I just move to the next one. Very happy I made that design change without the torches. Oh, smaller cavern. Here it is. You see that? There's the moon. This one has no ceiling to it. I'll come back and show you that in a second. Show you the outside, what it looks like on the outside. Especially during the day, you can see it better during the day. In the last area, this is the coolest room, in my opinion. Look at this. Dark in cavern way, ravine. Glass all throughout the ceiling, cutting its edge all the way over here and stopping. Got some lights going on the ceiling. And on the floor, you can see with this white stained glass. I even cut a little cleft right here so you can see back just a little bit farther. No, there's just a little bit more cave out of reach. And I didn't want the cobble fencing to touch the glass, so I left it out in some places, like right here for one. I think over here. No, not over here. But as you can see with the floor, how it cut out some areas. Same thing with the ceiling. I didn't let that come over and touch. And the glass, same level. Sometimes there's three slabs, sometimes it's just two slabs. And stone you can see where I put the torches you know I mean if you're really looking close you can obviously see where I put the torches for the lighting and there's no way I can really cover them up to look good without being too obvious but this is really cool this is really cool thank you again Firestar for building me this awesome looking generator to make this place a great success for the backstory behind the water tank. Is it daylight out yet? It is not. So I do want to tell you guys that I will not be building here for a little bit and that is because I want to move on to different area, a different look, different style. Oh, I do have my own style, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Rabbits, do, how many rabbit feet do I have? Four. I have not been breeding the rabbits, as you can tell. I've got a lot of sugar cane and such. Got a lot of nether wart, carrots, potatoes. Not too much wheat. Oh, it's coming towards day. Yeah, so I won't be doing the melon or pumpkin farm soon. Oh, excuse me. It's, um, it's 10.30 at night. Mm. Oh, had a good day. Made turkey, watched movies. Finally saw The Hobbit, Clash of the Five Armies. It was freaking fantastic. I'm so glad I saw it. I wish Smog, Smog had a little bit more of an appearance in it from the previous movie, Smog's Def Desolation. Because I felt like there wasn't enough... I mean, he blew his fire breath everywhere, but I felt like there wasn't enough town destruction as there could have been. But it was still epic. There it is, you can see. It's dark down here. You can fly into our tank. You won't be able to see much because, you know, depending what mood, what setting you have on, Actually, with the sun coming out, you can start to see a little bit more. And I have drowning turned off while I built this. But with it coming towards day, um, oh, don't you look at that just yet? Okay. Let's see if we can find it again. I need to get rid of that chest. I think it was right here. 
Oh, there's one before this one. Okay, sweet, that was close. That's the only problem with symmetrical builds. Everything looks alike, so you get confused of where things should be. There we go. Now you can see out into the ocean. Very cool. Just like the caverns, I was going to, I'm using the regular water supply for the generator. This is probably the, in the heating terms, the coolest generator because of the amount of fresh cold water coming from the under ocean currents. And every once in a while I get a squid down here to say hi. Oh, speaking of squids, I get a lot of squids over here in the farm. I'll just be collecting sugarcane and I'll run across like two or three ink sacks in one spot. But I hope you guys enjoyed the farm here, the store with me. The farm is a completely separate project from the storage in my opinion, despite the fact that the beacons are from the storage area. They are different. And next place, if I'm really enthusiastic with building and stuff playing League tonight, I will have it ready to record tomorrow. Um, and I hopefully will be building with you guys. So, I will see you guys then.